This is Flowey, and he's your normal, typical Minecraft flower. But what if Flowey wanted to be OP? Welcome to Flower Power Battle Royale, where every single flower has a chance to drop regular items like iron or ingredients to craft a super overpowered legendary weapon. Will I be able to bloom and be the last player standing? Or am I going to wilt away to my enemy? Stay tuned to find out. And if you enjoy the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Lackey, and today we are playing the brand new Hotplay Battle Royale Duos game mode, Flower Power. I'm sure you could probably tell by the title in the intro, but today I am joined by my good friend Loflo13. You may know him from my Battle Royale video, but instead of enemies today we're on a team so i think that the meta right now oh my god a god apple that's crazy yeah I, I wasn't joking when i said that you could get op loot or complete trash so i think that the meta is to literally just rush whatever legendary weapon you can craft immediately and since we have a notch apple i think we should try to go for the Midas sword but oh but there was a change um in this season you could only one person can craft each legendary weapon so if somebody gets a god apple and manages to craft the Midas sword before us then we are locked out of that weapon for the entire game Okay, so, like, what, what am I missing here? What 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 do I need for the Midas Sword? Oh, quartz. Okay. You can see how not playing this server for the past two months may have set me back a little bit. And there goes the Midas Sword. Okay, well, I mean, we'll get him next time, boys. Yeah, other than not playing for two months, like, I haven't really been uploading. So how have you guys been? I feel like that estranged cousin who doesn't really check in all that often. But then when you do, you're like, oh, where, how are you? What's up, bro? I, uh, I recently got diagnosed as vitamin D deficient, which makes sense. I'm a Minecraft YouTuber. But um, if there's one thing to take away from that, I guess it's that I need to touch grass more. I think we all knew that, though. Me personal- Oh, Dragon Egg! Oh, oh my god, Loflo! Okay, we can- We can actually go for the Reinforced Elytra. Yay. I think the Reinforced Elytra is actually, like, the best legendary weapon. Thank you, Loflo. Okay, I need the feathers. What else do I need? What else do I need? Two di- Okay, I have- uh, Two diamonds. Okay, I just need two diamonds. There we go. That's two diamonds. Wait, where is it? The Reinforced Elytra. Let's go! This is my first time ever crafting this weapon. I'm actually so excited to use it. Can we really- classify it as a weapon or is it like more of an armor piece i guess it's like an offensive armor piece so <laughs> in that regard it's kind of like iron man speaking of armor we should probably be trying to get some more diamond armor i'm trying to save up as much gunpowder and sugarcane as possible so that i can craft firework rockets if you haven't seen my last video on the shadow blade epaxel actually made the reinforced elytra and used a strategy where he used firework rockets instead of the elytra ability it was annoying to say the least but it's kind of op and with that, we are pretty much done with enchanting. Uh, we're all good to go. The only thing that I'm still lacking is a diamond chest plate, but I mean, I'm sure that we're going to get a kill for one. Even the reinforced elytra is still like the same as an iron chest plate, I believe. So it's not like we're naked. We're just not as fully covered as if we were full diamond. Mournfully, as we were recording late into the night, Loflo alerted me that it was past his bedtime and he had to get off of Hoplite. With one last word of encouragement from my friend Loflo. You can do it, Lackey. I believe in you. I set out to win us the game. Bye-bye, bye This bitch had a gas tear and he didn't even tell me. That's a free totem, I guess. Um, it sucks they had to go, but what can you do? I'm not trying to fight his parents, you know, that's not my, really my place. After coming across a couple of enemies, I quickly realized that I didn't actually know how to use the reinforced elytra. In a scurry, I accidentally used the last of my firework rockets, so I had to escape and find more gunpowder but not before coming across the brand new loot drop system where I came across a sharpness 2 book and could finally make a sharpness 3 netherite sword. Or that's what I would do if I had an anvil, which I unfortunately did not. But I went back to harvesting flowers and to my surprise, I actually got a heavy core, which is used in the recipe to craft the brand new mace weapon. Shortly after, I realized that I wasn't alone in this flower forest and wasn't really in the position to fight, so I kind of had to scurry along. Help! Help me! <laughs> You're toast, buddy. I might actually be able to kill this guy here. I do have a few pearls that I can just waste on him, so might as well go for the extra head. <laughs> what a boost! Oh my god, not get we're not getting cleaned up, are we? Oh, that's a lot of people. Um, yeah, okay, maybe I shouldn't fight this right now. Guys, the brand new wither sickles. I kind of want those. And the egg glows. Holy shit. Oh, ah, that's scary. I don't like that. Um, okay, yeah, I am getting out of here. At least I probably should. I can probably take this guy, so. <laughs> Dude, Thorns is actually so annoying.
These new wind charge items are really cool, but they're it's actually it's really hard to use them sometimes. Like you'll aim them at a location and it'll go like a little bit above where you're trying to aim a little bit below. It's definitely something you got to get used to. There goes his totem. Easy clap. You were so low, bro. Get out of here. Good fight. Good fight. Captain's log. Day 87. No anvil. I will do any... Well, well that... Uh, what kind of divine forces are looking out for me up above? What the hell? Are you guys still fighting over here? This is like five minutes. I think I'm gonna have to rely on my... This guy has a shadow blade. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to rely on my elytra because I can't really fight these teams one on two <laughs> and they have a lot of projectiles so it's that's not like i'm gonna be able to like win any of these fights i do want to try to get a kill with this mace though just to see if it, it is possible i wonder if it would be possible to just fly super high up in the air and change my elytra to my chest plate and kill them with the mace probably gonna be really hard but i want to i want to try it i want to try it i want to see if i can try to get the jump on this guy over here i don't think that he sees me oh no he, he definitely sees me I think, oh, he's purling. Wait, why would you do that? <laughs> That's such a dumb mistake. Oh, it's the guy that was running for me earlier. I thought that you weren't supposed to take fall damage when you were holding out the maze. Sorry, man. <laughs> Nothing's changed. You're not going to just suddenly start winning the fight. Because you got away the first time. Uh, they're back again. Oh, my God. These guys are so annoying. I might actually die here. They have an ender boat. These guys just have every legendary weapon. Yeah, I need to get out and just get firework rockets. That's my main goal right now. Got some gunpowder, and now we make some rockets. Find some more gunpowder, make even more rockets. And I think you get the idea. Bro, listening to this music while I'm editing got me so excited for summer. Who is ready for summer? I've always been a winter fan. I love the cold weather, but good lord, I'm so ready for summer. I haven't been to a beach in years, let alone swimming. Where do you guys come from? Respectfully, I'm not scared of either of them, even in a 2v1. I just don't want to get drained before deathmatch. This guy is another chest plate. Um, I kind of want that. Oh, there's people fighting down in a cave. I wonder if I should jump in. Okay, I'm going. Geronimo! <laughs> Actually, wait, you know what I should do? I'm going to wait for them to get out of the hole, and I'm just going to drop them with a mace! <laughs> Bro, the mace is so fucking strong. Oh, he has the shadow blade. Uh oh, he might get away here. Okay, he still has a totem and a head, but I mean, I think I, I just out heal him here. All right, there goes his totem. Um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to do the mace strat. He's getting away. That was incredibly dumb of me, but... <laughs> good lord, that axe did damage, but we got out of there alive, and we are all good. There's so much loot here. Got a Prat 3 Diamond, Sharpness for Netherite Sword, the Wither Sickles, and an Aglos from that fight. And I did forget to grab the Shadow Blade, but I'm only noticing that while I'm editing, so my bad. Since we barely have any time until deathmatch, I'm just gonna Aries all of these heads. Uh, I, I don't feel like I'm gonna really need them. I mean, I have 32 Golden Apples and two Notch Apples, uh, two heads and a totem, and more healing, and a block of Diamond, and Fire Aspects! There's no freaking way, I'm so set! Yes! <laughs> that just didn't work. No, why are you guys ignoring me? Stop ignoring me. Yeah, I really don't know how these work, but I still want to try them out. Um, okay. This guy has long reach. Nice. Yeah, man, I'm shooting violently. You should see what I'm using. 3.7, 50%. There's more. Okay, whatever. I can just run till deathmatch. Step number one is to get to the middle. Step number two is to loot as much healing as you can get your hands on. Step three, just play as annoying as possible and drain your enemies. I know that I'm a solo here, but I'm still feeling very confident that I can win this. All I have to do is remember what my friend Lothlo told me. You can do it, Lackey. I believe in you. 
Going forward, this deathmatch doesn't have much live commentary because I was very focused on trying to win the game. But the final battle was very interesting, so stay tuned. Yo, I'm cheating. Turn around, fight me. I'm gonna use my 3.7 on you. Okay, I have a better idea. Okay, be honest with me. Are you British? No, Egyptian. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I don't think that you're cheating anymore. Thanks. Yeah, I think you're just a little bit laggy. Yeah, welcome to 160 pin gameplay. I'm sorry for saying they were a cheater. No worries. Nah, I know. That's fine. I whiffed that so hard. Hey, get off my boy! Get off my boy! We're trying to have a fair play, Arrow. Get out of here, man. Yeah, hitting the Elytra Mace is kind of difficult. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I, I promise by the end of this game, I'm gonna do it once. Like, I'm kind of targeting this guy, but he's the only person without a totem. So if I can pop him, my fire aspect should be able to just like take him out. I'm gonna notch here just because I kind of want to all in them. What in the fucking air bending? Yeah, and then his teammate just has a magma club, which kind of like entirely counters me here. Behind you. The board is getting really close. Uh, I probably I probably can't use my elytra anymore. Yeah, I need this guy out. That pufferfish cannon is just gonna drain us until we're out of healing. But his teammate is just on my ass every time I'm fighting this guy. I mean, that's not annoying. That just means that he's a good teammate. He has the, the what is it called? The Poseidon Strident or something? There is so much going on in this battle. This is actually such a fun fight. Uh, 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 no, I'm gonna get up. Uh, last got apple. Um, I have my apples and my trident. I don't have any G heads. This is the final fight right here. This guy looks like a buffer fish cannon. Yeah, get his ass. Get his ass. Oh, no, not my ass. Ooh! Good lord, that guy popped. He did a notch, he did a notch, he did a notch. I got it, I got it. <laughs> Three notches in one game is insane. I have never seen a game of Hoplite's deathmatch border get this small before. We're all gonna be taking, we're all, we're all gonna be taking so much damage. There's, I, this is probably like the final fight right here. Okay, there goes his totem. There we go! Holy shit! Waffle, we won! If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want more Hot Plate content just like this, make sure to hit that sub button, and I will see you in the next video.